Welcome back to the Advanced Interaction Story tutorial series. In today's video, we'll explore timed events and discover how to restart any cinematics when a player fails. Let's dive right in. To get started, let's create a new cinematic and assign the level sequence. In the previous cinematic, select Timed Event and assign an ID for the Quick Time Event. These events require a cinematic to be played in the event of a player failure. So, let's create one and ensure the result is set to fail for the Quick Time Event. Next, we'll add the Timed Event track into the Level Sequencer. You can customize the widget settings from the Properties section, adjusting parameters such as slow motion and its position on the UI. Save your work and give it a test run. When the correct key is pressed at the right time, the character should execute the action. You can enable the debug mode on any cinematic for quick testing. If you fail to press any key or press the wrong key, the story will conclude. If you want to replay any cinematic in the event of failure, simply connect the fail cinematic to another one. If you prefer not to display any quick time events for it, you can force the transition in the quick time event. Let's play again and deliberately fail to see what happens. The first cinematic plays as expected. Should you wish to design your own widget for this event type, duplicate the existing ones from the plugin folder into your project. Add UI elements from the design panel and override the events to suit your desired logic. Repeat the same process for the group widget if you want to display the choices in a group. For a more in-depth understanding of these events, refer to the documentation. Thanks for watching.